hey 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 how are you doing hey 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 it is your girl Yvonne Michelle I'm out walking in power anyway have you ever got to a place in your life where you just think enough is enough and you're just not having it well have you been put in a situation where you have got something to do you plan to do something plans change and then someone tries to manipulate you or push you into doing something that they want you to do but you don't necessarily want to do it well I've realized lately um, as I'm getting younger in age that I'm just not having it anymore I've realized that I'm not jumping through hoops for anybody apart from myself. Life is far too short for that. And I um, really want to find out what you're going through. Um, the challenges that you might be facing could be at work, could be within your home, um, could be in your business, could be anywhere at school, college, university, anywhere. What kind of challenges are you facing? Listen. Are you facing issues and are you just being backed into a corner? You know, I think we get to an age um, where we say, start to say enough is enough. No, thank you. You know, I'm not doing it. And today I, I've just found myself in that situation. Found myself in a situation where this person thought that they could blackmail me into doing a job that I didn't want to do because it suited them. And I just began to think, well, how many other people are in that situation? And how many people are doing things that they don't want to do, but they're doing it because of fear of being sacked or losing their job or not being popular? And my thing is, my tagline is be bold, be fearless, be authentic, but most of all, be you. And I have to live by that. Shall I go down here? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to on some hill and golly. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, got to live by it. We've got to live by who we say we are. And so I just want to ask you, are you being put back into a corner? Are you living your best life or are you living your best life? What are you doing? What are you doing with yourself? I really want to, I just want to press upon you. I want to, I want to get you thinking about your life and where you're at. Because we say this saying all the time, life is short. And it is short. This place is well steep. Let me show you. I should have showed you from the beginning really, but it's, it's well steep. If I turn back, let me just turn the camera. That's where I've just walked down from. That's where I'm going down to. But as I was saying, talking about, you know, standing in your power and being who you are and being authentic with who you are. Because sometimes we have to do things or people put, put us in positions where we think we have to do things and we live in fear to think, oh, we might lose our job. At the end of the day, I walked out of that place I, when I, sorry, when I come off the call, I just said to myself, I don't think I'll be working for that company again because I'm not going to work for a company that tries to blackmail me into working because it suits them. No. They can kiss the black side of the moon, which is at the rear end of my bottom. Anyway, I don't really care because life is too short. We've got to live our best life and... Living our best life is not living our best lie. And sometimes you've just got to be bold enough to say, no, I'm not going to do that because it doesn't suit me. And so I just wanted to talk to you today and just to leave that with you, to say that you have to be the change that you want to see in your life. You have to do that first. It's not for anybody else to do it. You've got to do it. You've got to be it and live that example and sometimes that's hard sometimes that means you've got to put your neck on the line sometimes that means that you know you're going to have to go without but trusting in yourself to know that something better is coming and I just wanted to leave that with you today because 
regardless of whether I work for that company again, I will work again. Yeah? I've got a lot of gold in me. Greatness oozes out of me and greatness oozes out of you as individuals. So those of you who are watching or if you watch this on the replay, I just want to encourage you. Don't make nobody make you feel less than who you are. Yeah? No one has that power unless you allow that. And don't make anybody push you into doing something, you know, that you don't want to do. If it doesn't fit you, say no. Be bold enough, be brave enough, be authentic enough to be you who you are. Yeah? You know, I know I'm not really looking in the camera uh, because I'm kind of like trying to look where I'm going. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to leave that with you. I did put him in his place. I'm not having it. I'm just not having it. And anyone that knows me and knows me well will know that I'm not having it. You're not pushing me around. You can get lost. Go and push yourself. Push yourself to do something great. But don't try and intimidate me because I'm not having it. I'm telling you, I had to tell the man today, no, you will not black. I said, are you trying to blackmail me? I had to call him out. Because sometimes, you see, you have to call a demon out when you see it. Don't be afraid to do it, you know. By the end of that phone call, he was as nice as pie. But I know who I'm dealing with. Do you know what I'm saying? Anyway, like I say, don't make nobody push you or, or back you into a corner because of something that they want you to do. Do what you think is right for you. Be authentic in yourself. I'm walking. I'm walking in my power. Anyway, this is your girl, if I'm Michelle. <laughs> And I'm signing out on this evening and I'll catch you soon. Ciao, ciao.